Hello, thanks for joining us. It's time for the Trade of the Week webinar, Wednesday, February 24th. Um, the audience is muted. Please direct your questions to the questions panel. If you have a direct question for the presenter, we'll wait until he's taking questions in the later half of the webinar. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and ask a couple of questions. This helps us better know our audience. So the first question is, are you currently a Trade Ideas subscriber? Uh, the question is up on your screen. Please use that to vote. Uh, do you currently have an active Trade Ideas subscription or don't you? It's uh, helpful for us to know um, which demographics are showing up to our different webinars. So I'll wait until the majority of the audience has voted, and then I have one follow-up question. Excellent. Thanks, everyone, for voting. I'll share that with the audience. We have a slight majority of active subscribers, and the rest of you do not have an active subscription. So I'm going to recommend those of you that don't um, pay attention, and then also stick around toward the end of the webinar where we will be extending a special offer. And this question is for the current subscribers. Do you currently have the AI Odds Maker license? Um, the Odds Maker AI license is required to use our AI Holly. Um, access the new limit alerts feature and some of the other higher functionality. Um, it's a one-time license fee and it's yours for life as long as you have an active subscription. And uh, those of you who don't have it, again, stick around toward the end of the webinar. We will have a great way for you to add that to your account and uh, save as a thank you for attending. Excellent. Thanks for voting. So a good number of you that are subscribers have it, but some of you don't. So I will encourage you to stay for the second half. And I'm going to go ahead and turn you over to Dan for the rest of the presentation. I'll be on later. Dan? Thank you, Scott. Um, I want to thank everybody uh, for taking their time in the evening and attending this webinar. The Trade of the Week webinar is really where we focus more on idea generation. It's less sales oriented. As everybody here knows, uh, Trade of the Week is a email that you get from Trade Ideas for free. It's where we show you how we use our algorithmic idea generation technology, our, um, you know, our, our tools to figure out where the best odds are for going forward. So before I get into the presentation, a quick disclaimer, Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. And please make sure to understand that all the information that you're, com that you're getting in this webinar is not to be construed as investment advice. So I'm going to kind of do it a little bit differently today. I'm going to jump right in because we have a lot to cover, and I'm going to start with um, our the webinar choice that we had uh, this week. So here, um, one of the let me see, yeah, like right here. So. We said that Shake Shack was setting up to move higher, and I want to talk a little bit about the behavior pattern that, that, that again, that we statistically have been running through to showcase what that means. So here, obviously, Shake Shack was going up, and then it started reversing and had a kind of like a very steep, much like the rest of the market. market. I mean, again, history is kind of history, but visually, behaviorally, you can see, obviously, from last November to pretty much uh, January 15, so you can see it right here, January 15, 14, it was going down. And then from you know the middle of the year, and remember that January of 2016 happened to have been the worst January in market history. So all of you, um, you know, who, who've been with us and who, you know, who, who kind of have been participating with the technology, you got to see something that, again, is a first time. And that's one of the things that we really like to highlight is that the market is different all, all the time. You know, people always go and spend so much time in the past, but you have to really kind of have, uh, be set up for both things. Of course, you have to be aware of what, what was happening, but you really need to look at, just importantly, what is happening. So. All that stuff in the past in terms of Shake Shack, and I'm going to kind of, I mean, look at this. The, the high on this stock, 
was right here at 96, um, and that was in May of 2015. Okay, and it's retraced a significant, and a lot of stocks have done this again, a significant amount. So um, this was a, a marker that that we had set for. Uh, when we wanted to really start having to see the uh, shape check become the trade of the week candidate. And the trade of the week candidate, the algorithm that hunts for this, looks at stocks that have made a bottom and are continually trying to trend higher while, again, building what's called the base. And this area right here is a base. So the reason I'm spending time on this is because you're going to see a lot of this. I'm going to show you a lot of how uh, stocks are setting up and I'm going to show you also um, how you can take advantage of it going forward. So someone's saying that the sound is not good. Is that correct? Is anyone else having trouble hearing me? You sound pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm going to adjust the microphone just slightly. I'm going to move it just a little bit closer. Maybe that's a little better. Okay, so anyways, this Shake Shack move that I think we said, I can't, Scott, do you have the uh, email somewhere in the back? What was the price that we said was the entry point? It's like somewhere around here. I can't remember if it was like 30, it's got to be like 39 something because it's got to be just above here, probably 39.60 or 70. Um, <clears throat> so, and then, then literally the next day, you know, it traded all the way up to 41.84 before pulling back and then coming back and still now looking like it wants to continue and break higher. I mean, it looks like the market really had a strong reversal and the momentum, at least seems like right now, is going to be going to the bulls for a while. So that's the algorithm. Now we're going to look at <coughs> other examples of things that are setting up. And again, remember on the trade of the week, we're trying to find, give you guys new ideas that you can then start having. And I'm going to show you a piece of technology that we use here called the limit alerts, where you will never um, miss a trade of the week again, ever. So let's start with a window called Holly's Hidden Gems. Again, I have a couple of different windows that we use as the foundation for the AI that looks for and calls out the trade of the week. And the foundations are really something that we at Trade Ideas use all the time during the day. Um, they're top lists, but they really utilize all of our technology. They sort the market in a certain way to give us a certain viewpoint. And there's important information in there, like, again, things that we know, like we want a certain kind of float and other things that really come together to make a stock really look like it's ready to go. Let's take a look at what some of that looks like, just so you can see what's available. So here's an example of uh, one that really, again, this is today, just the action today was from 1362 uh, to 16. All day long going up, and you can kind of see that, look at this, I mean, this is a type of bottom that's really hard to uh, nail down because usually what we try to do is we try to look for a little bit of retracement, but nothing is perfect. And in this case, the down move somehow was so exaggerated that, um, you know, the news was so good that this was the move that ended up happening today, which, was, which by the way, is again, one of the things that we like to point out is why are you here and why do you not see us talking about Apple and Netflix and Amazon because everybody else is already doing that. You know, there's so many more opportunities and opportunities like this where, you know, there's almost no pullback. So we're trying to find this. We're trying to go where alpha is hiding, not where every other investor is because that's where things are, again, kind of dried up. So the hidden gems list is a list that has a couple of things in it. And I want you to think about, again, why we have it this way. So look at the quarterly revenue growth in terms of percentages. Every stock here has some sort of a decent quarterly revenue growth. Okay? And obviously, Rubicon reported earnings today. So you can see when you see a negative 0.25, that means that the earnings release just happened a quarter of a day ago or, or today at the close. So obviously, again, very uh, good earnings, 
lots of short covering. And I think, again, the market is, seems to be setting up bullishly. So let's look at another candidate. Now this, I mean, if you want to look at what looks good, this right here looks good. And the thing is that, you know, let's set an alert here. And I'm going to actually set it at 65. I mean, we're very close. So right here, oh, this, this is already, I went to 12 after hours. Let me uh, change that real quick. So by the way, so here, um, EFOI, I can just go to any of, of our uh, limit of words and I can either delete them or edit them, anything I like. Max, uh, the limited alerts are now available. We just released them today. So that's one of the exciting things that we talked about in the last webinar and in the trading room. This is in the latest beta that's on the website. So if you go to, maybe Scott will put up a link for it um, in uh, the webinar. But the, this is now available. And again, you will never miss another trade. So look, EFOI in after hours is at 12.03. Um, so obviously it's already been here. Um, it's like right here right now. This looks very, very good and all of you should continue uh, to watch this. Okay. Now I have it here and again if you get back into the bigger picture, right? And this is the thing that we always, that I think a lot of investors miss in terms of what we are trying to do here with trade ideas. Every single stock that we get into is not ever really to get into for a day trade. We're not gamblers. Everything that we trade has longer term implications. The idea is just can you hold on to it? You know, everything that we try to get you into is something that could go. And hopefully you can see why we're seeing that. So EFOI, uh, and I've said the alert for like 1225 or whatever it was that I just did. Let me see that. 12.16, okay. So let's go to the next one, Shutterstock. Another one that's really, really interesting right now that's on our hidden gems list. Now Shutterstock, again, if you look at, you know, the quarterly revenue, it's got a decent quarterly revenue growth, so did energy focus, 151%. I mean, these are all good things and a nice, relatively small float. You know, the other thing that we look at in terms of momentum is the float. When you have a company like, you know, Microsoft or Bank of America that's got multi-billion dollar floats, I mean, come on. It's just, it's just difficult to move those stocks. That's why they're sort of pointless for the individual investor. But there's so many opportunities to make so much money finding interesting plays here. And by the way, so look, just to give yourself some perspective, see right here, look, Shutterstock tried to do it here in November, but then ultimately failed. But this right here, one, two, three, four, five, a five-day cycle here was from 29.37 to 39, 10 points in five days. I mean, how, why would you not want to be in that? That's incredible percentages. <coughs> and what Shutterstock is showing us, that it's ready to do it again. So what's really <coughs> what's really nice is setting it up to go for the void bill, okay? And I'm going to show you what that means. Okay, so filling the a void right here. This is a void. So there was a gap, probably an earnings gap, and Shutterstock got just decimated uh, with. Uh, with this news and now it's been basing from August I mean to now you know almost a year of a base is phenomenal for us to get a foothold and start to do something I mean the idea here Shutterstock is a technology company and um, this move is indicating that something is going on so what we want to see is I mean 3481 uh, this, this is a very, very, very strong move. The move I'm talking about here, I mean, this is a complete train, uh, trend change. So now I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, so this is the big one, right? But we're kind of, we're still five points away. 
there's still something to be had, you know, basically right here. So I'm going to set a limit for 36.25. That let me, lets me know that interim momentum is there as well. Again, I can play this on the way up to here. Like, so basically I'm saying this is the big one. If it can clear this, it's off to the races. But I'm willing to speculate before that because it just this is the trend. So this is kind of how I want you guys to see you know, how we work. And look, the beauty is you do not um, have to sit there in front of the computer uh, and watch the stocks. The limit alert windows have actions on them and they will pop this up or play a sound as soon as one of your alerts comes up. So, and here's something else. I mean, and again, I'm, the, the evening uh, webinars, I try to focus more on idea generation, but every, everything that we're doing here, I'm putting in this window, and I'm going to share it with everyone who is a subscriber of Trade Ideas, and that will really give you the ability to see the market through my eyes, which again, I think is the kind of, I mean, talk about your periscope, it doesn't get any better. I mean, I'm, I'm a fairly decent trader, and I'm giving you my numbers. You know, I'll be in them too. So let's go through this, and again, um, we're, we're, we're working on this together for creating other trade of the week ideas. I mean, from the foundation, we might be in the next trade of the week here uh, sooner than you think. So okay, let's take a look at this. So this one, again, it's interesting because it's a little bit different. So a lot of times, you know, we look for a move that comes out of a downturn. So this this was phenomenal, sounding like Donald Trump. It's incredible. This move loved me. So th this was really good. But then it got volatile with this gap, and afterwards, you know, the whole pharmaceutical uh, sector really got destroyed uh, during the January February time frame. But that's still where a lot of the excitement and alpha possibilities are. I mean, they're right now talking about, you know, cancer, Alzheimer's, T cells, anti-aging, and literally, you know, with the CRISPR-9, uh, genetic, genetic changing. So there's a lot of interesting things going on, way beyond what the initial dot-com bullishness of, hey, look, I have a website. You know, there's really interesting things happening, and I'm so bullish in terms of just, um, you know, seeing not, not only what we're doing, but the potential of technology exploited. So again, taking a look at silicone pharmaceuticals, so again, right away, notice we have single stock windows, all these elements that, by the way, when Jamie and Steve, um, they do their uh, kind of office hours, they teach everybody all these different ways that, um, you know, the people utilize the tech, but the idea is that we don't want you to keep jumping around. You can quickly see important stuff, like, Okay, they've got a 44 float, $999 million in cash, no debt, revenue of $158 million. I mean, so this company is actually doing something, you know? That's how you quickly start realizing, oh, wait, they make money? And, and something, okay, interesting, you know? That's how you sort of large relative volume. Again, all things I like, and this one is more bullish. So that's why it still comes up because the hidden gems uh, scaffolding does not need for, for there to be a big downtrend. You're just looking at a combination of things. So here, what we're going to look at is a price that's right here, 9.84. China Oncology on the move. Okay, so there it is. And what, what I'm hoping you all see is that, you know, if this actually goes through it, you know, and you kind of look back, you're like, oh, I can sort of see why Dan did that. You know, there's no promises. I'm just saying this is what, you know, it looks like if, you know, if you're going to break through here, you might be fighting with this area. And then it's, you know, it's really potentially off to the races. Okay, let's look at another one. Look. You know, these are uh, some of my favorite setups. You know, they really, really are just because if you can exploit them, you know, the right way, there's so much alpha here. 
And by the way, I mean, this is what it's all about, you know, active investing. You know, it's not about day trading or swing trading. I don't know what, I mean, those terms seem so silly to me. It's about just exploiting information in a way to have an advantage. And what we do here is we just bring things to you that are setting up. So these are, you know, again, if you're a card counter, you're like, wow, you know, my downside here, I mean, of course, if you buy it, let's say you buy it here, right? and it gets to here somehow. Well, whatever it was, like that's just, you know, let's call it a buck 50. I mean, well, whatever that is, that's a tiny amount of risk to uh, potentially start filling a void and, and changing a trend where you're talking about doubling at this level and my goodness, what if it goes back uh, to being bullish? This is a software play and the market has been so terrible to uh, software providers and just in technology in general. So you, you just, I mean, there's a lot of these bargain kind of setups and we are trying to find them before everyone and exploit them. Notice they're being talked about on social media, um, traded a percent of their float, 13 million. I mean, there's, things can happen when something goes like this. So I really want to see a continuation. So I'm going to say, <coughs> excuse me. Seven thirty-five. So what's really nice about again everything that I'm doing here is at the end of this webinar, everyone who has trade ideas and everyone who has access to the limit alerts from the uh, AI, you will have this whole list that I'm making. Okay, and obviously, you know, I've done a lot of work. <laughs> so um, let's keep going. Everyone should start liking what they see, you know. That's what I'm hoping uh, <laughs> to showcase here. We are really statistically trying to find this right here, you know. And remember that um, everybody hated uh, the pharmaceutical industry and I am very fortunate because I'm in ZIOP. Um, Holly, our AI engine, had this as a long, um, yeah, uh, not today, but yesterday at six, I think it was like 650 ish. I got in and stayed the whole day, and here, here's where I am, and this still looks good. I mean, again, I would be buying this on a pullback, so let's look, look back real quick. So this area right here is resistance, okay? Um, but with these small stocks, I mean, once it starts going past eight, like let's say eight ten, you're, that's going to be another momentum push because it clears another number. Uh, Alice, I don't remember which strategy fired ZIOP yesterday, but I have it on a screenshot somewhere. Uh, it was just one of the it was one of the long AI strategies. Yeah, it was in Holly. It was one of Holly's trades. She got out, and uh, I stayed in. Okay, so that's ZIOP. It just uh, one of the more beautiful. I love this. I mean, this it's like you have because you can kind of see. It's almost like you know if you were a surfer, right? You can say, oh, look, it looks smooth versus, you know, when it's all like uh, like this, very uh, j j jagged. Okay, let's look at another one. Kona. Kona Grill. I mean, and again, you know, just like Shake Shack and other, there's alpha in different places. We're not, we, because we are looking at things um, systematically and numerically, we don't limit ourselves to being in just software and just biotech. That's why it, it makes no sense. You have to be as open-minded and as flexible as possible when you're an active investor because alpha opportunities always move around. And that's one of the advantages with trade ideas. We never say things like, oh, we're into gold or we're bearish or we're bullish because it's silly to have an opinion. The market can change on the fly like it did today. What we say is we have the best tools to react to any market. Whether it's long, whether it's trending, whether it's choppy, we will exploit it the best and we will help you do the same thing. So Kona Grill is looking very good. This is, you know, if you're talking about old school analysis, right, this is like what they call a double bottom. 
Now, it tried to do this right here. And this was a very good trade from 12 to well, the high of uh, 17. Thinking, and, and, and again, if you go remember how the market traded at the end of the year, you know, it kind of tried to build some momentum, but then ultimately there was just huge failure starting the beginning of the year. And, and Kona battled, but with everybody it faltered. But here we're showing signs again, and if you look at this, now all you're seeing, if you zoom back out, and again, I'll kind of, this is why it's so important to not get stuck in again in just one intraday time frame, but be able to look, look at things like in really a broad perspective. One, two, three. So this is like a triple bottom. You're going to even say four. Quadruple bottom. Just, you know, expand your time frame a little bit. And this is a small double bottom. Other people are seeing this and look at the move right out of there. Again, they're saying, hey, this thing um, could be good. The thing that we really like about Kona and why it landed on hidden gems is because it has a very small float. A very, very small float. And uh, look at their revenues. They're basically trading at a one multiple of revenues. So, again, to us, this seems attractive from a perspective of momentum and, and the way it is set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, in reality, the move was really like 14 was the the move in it. I, I just wasn't paying attention to it. But it still looks good. So I'm going to say, like, now the new level would be right around 14, uh, 40. And I like to make, you know, funny notes. Sometimes, you know, a lot of what's really nice about how we work with trade ideas, too, is that um, the notes kind of tell you your mood. You know, are you really serious and you're like, I'm really working on it, or am I kind of just freestyling it? What I find is that I sometimes do my best when I'm trying the least. And, you know, they say that about golf, about a lot of professional things. Be in the zone, being in the zone in, 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 in active investing is not about sitting there intensely you know, going through charts yourself. That's pointless. Um, again, Holly and our AI and, and technology is doing that. You really need to positioning yourself to allocate your capital the best way. And here with our technology, you are now in that position because you never miss anything that looked appealing to you, you know. So here, I'll give you an example. Uh, and, and of course, I mean, you can basically set alerts for almost anything, right? Um, but there's really here, I'm not that attracted to it right now. Um, I would say really the move here is past 30. Now you can do that. Look, because the, the thing is, you know, it won't leave. And you can say this is the big one. The idea is that it doesn't have to happen tomorrow. You can set up nice longer term, uh, you know, price points that then the stock goes through and you know you've got serious momentum involved. Okay? So, yeah, so there's a question, you know, uh, why do I focus on the long side, uh, in, uh, especially on the Trade Ideas Trade of the Week webinar? Well, remember that this is a free webinar and shorting is a niche business. I do it, of course, but being short and shorting in general requires a lot more attention and most even active investors just don't have the time to mess with that. So I focus on the long side and the market is rigged to go up. I mean, just so that everybody knows. I mean, it can be very painful on the downside, but it is rigged to go up. Um, and that's not a secret. It's the way to think about it. What do insurance companies that you pay all of your money to every single month, what do they do with that money? They actually have to put it to work and it's done in the stock market. So, okay, so we put a longer term over on uh, GIMO. Let's look at NTRI. Again, would have loved to have been in this one. Like, so look at how I would have traded this. And <coughs> I, would have, I would have said that, here, I'm going to, so there's a couple of things you can do on the trade ideas charts. And notice that with us, instead of like, littering and dumping a garbage can of technical analysis on you, we're just letting you kind of, mark up the, the, the chart yourself so that you can have a better 
understanding of what it is that you want to do. So the real level to break, like if I was watching this, like let's say right here or right here, and I happen to not have been, but this is what I would have said was the break. This is where I would have put my alert, and this is, you know, again, and I'll do this, this pattern is, is such a simple pattern that, re, that we repeat all the, all the time, whether it's in uh, Trade of the Week webinar, whether it's on Holly Strategies, we look for this because look at the explosive move one, once it takes place. So right now this move has already happened, so what you're looking for is a pullback. Um, it's really kind of interesting because you can do that with trade ideas too. So look, you can say, I'm really looking to maybe get into this at 22. Um, so you create this, but instead of from above, it's from below. So you can do a lot of different things. So when I said 2203, notice how, again, it automatically, NTRI falls to 2203, it knows. Okay, there's just a lot of good uh, smarts built into it. So here I will say at uh, by this pullback. I think NTR, uh, it's a good question. Yeah, I don't think it was a trade of the week. It, it should have been, and, but again, we're not perfect. You know, we can't catch everything. A lot of times what happens is this. So, like, see, like, I mean, I can even explain to you why it was not caught. Um, you know, right here, we would have been looking for, you know, right here, and I just, and I just happened to have somehow not paid attention to it, and and, uh, and neither did some of the filtering that we have in, because again, you, nothing is perfect. There's no, you know, exact perfect thing, but we just happened to have missed that one. Um, but now on a pullback, you can get it. And here you'll be in this area. I mean, if this seems like a completely reason, reasonable uh, pullback. Alice, it's actually a very good uh, point, and we will do that. You're absolutely right. There will be a, a trade of the week channel. Um, we've actually talked about that. Um, so very good point. Okay, so let's move uh, to the next one, Q2 holdings. Okay. Remember this one, um, steep. So this is a little bit of a steep upward move, very steep V bottom, but the real move is right here. So I'm going to say now it wants, whoops, now it wants it. And hopefully I'm showing you this important exercise that, that again, this is a way that you let the stocks come to you instead of you chasing everything. Okay. So again, we, we can spend kind of, there, there's a lot of different uh, setups that I am, again, pretty excited about uh, right now. So here's another one, LifeLock. We've been kind of looking at this one. You, you know, I always like volatility because volatility is exciting. I mean, if you look at what's going on here and then the subsequent retracement of that and then the subsequent move down, I mean, it's been all over the place. But okay, that, that's fine. Here though, we're, start, we're in that void fill mode. So, what I'm, so it's a 10, uh, 74. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to go whole number. Stocks like whole numbers and I'll actually be five. And I'm going to say, cross the whole number looks good. Click, and here it is. So this, so again, we will not miss this. And here's something else. Notice that we already have for every stock, whether you're using Trade Ideas AI or not, every single stock that you are looking at, you've got a custom stock number on. So I want to make sure that you guys know that. Notice that it changes. So for Ruby. Because of the volatility, look at the stock. Um, Leon, absolutely. Uh, which, uh, um, which which thing do you want to share? Okay, let me see here. Um, Scott, 
Let me get that. So Leon's showing you something. So we are able to, so I can take an alert. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to save my alerts to the cloud. So let me show you how to do that real quick. So right click. Uh, I'm going to highlight this. There, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but shift, whoops, did I press shift? Oh, control, sorry. So I highlighted everything, right click, and I'm going to say share the 38 selected alerts. I'm actually going to copy it right here, and I'm going to post it to the chat so that everybody can, uh, can have it, what we have so far. Okay, so this way, again, everyone can have everything that I've done thus far and some of the things that I've done before. You can all uh, have that, at least the people who get with the proper access. So now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to um, <clears throat> load from cloud and I'm going to load it. Where did it go? Oh. Let's see. Uh, Leon, the funny thing is that I've got a bunch of monitors and it might be hidden. So that's the one of the only problems about um, me bringing it up because you know I'm doing the webinar right now and, and the way I do the webinar screen um, it's a little bit tricky for me to it, it's possible for me to lose my orientation let me see if I can new limit alert I'm trying to see if this one uh, is it Okay, let's well, we'll just open it up. I'll just go to SKX. Okay, so SKX, uh, beautiful, exact kind of uh, pattern that we looked for. Uh, it had a big run, decimated, a lot of going uh, back and forth, and now it's really trying. By the way, I mean, I'm, I'm actually a huge fan of Skechers from just, you know, my kids love it. It's one of the these stocks that has like Lululemon type of um, potential. The other thing that you like seeing is, you know, they do have quarterly revenue growth. They just had earnings, so something must be relatively decent. They have a half billion cash and revenue of three. So again, a very relatively small revenue multiple. I'm not an analyst and I don't try to be, but I love where this is. Um, so it's uh, Alice. I think what it is, and this is what I didn't realize. It wasn't. I wouldn't get a new window. It just appeared in the window. So now it's called. I've added them. I've added uh, Leon's to mine. So like, if we go to SKX, see, that's his alert. It's not my alert. Leon, it's the right. It's your alert, right? Your price. Yeah, so that's so what Leon's showing you is how, so Leon uh, just shared this with me, and I'm showing all of you that this is exactly how we do it. I didn't set this up, but he did, and now everybody actually has it, because I think I saved it after Leon had uh, opened it up. So everyone who copied my link has this, and what Leon's doing, he's showing you, this is the void number. So this right here, there's this huge gap down, and this is the, the price where if it starts to go, I mean, there could be a huge, huge momentum uh, of people flooding to catch this move. Now, for me personally, right, and I've said this before, there's possibly a, even a move in between. So, like, you can say, hey, um, let me get the, create another smaller over it and say 32, well, let me see here, 33, exactly, yeah. So this is what I call interim Leon. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying <coughs> Leon's right, but I'm maybe, and, and by the way, this is another strategy type of option. Not only am I saying Leon's right, but there's a different way that people can enter position. Let's say 
buy 100 shares here, and if it continues to break out, I'll add 100 here. A lot of people have this funny instinct of like getting out when they actually should be doubling down. Um, that's the proper you know, strategy, and this can't kind of move because you're looking for this, this whole gap fill. So hopefully, again, everyone is able to see that we're completely changing the way you share ideas now with trade ideas. You are no longer confined to just you. You can be in the trade ideas environment. You can share ideas with our community, with myself, um, with other members. And really, that way, you really are the most efficient predators. You know, if you talk about just um, exploitation, I don't know anything that is more exploitive in terms of idea generation than what we are doing here right now, the way that we're able to basically go through all these types of setups, create our uh, exact prices where we want to be, and then not worry about it. So let me uh, bring in just another window um, real quick. Well, Alice, we, you know, in terms of the trading room, we I, I, that's Omnovia, and um, I'm not sure exactly how all of that is done, but I, I, I delegate that to other very competent uh, people. So, trend change lubricant is another scaffolding that we use to. Uh, it's a window, and again, all trade ideas customers, you can have it if you want it. But basically, again, scaffolding is what we use as a base for ideas to get in. So here's another uh, example of that. So look at Frontier Communications. Here's another perfect example of um, how to utilize simple um, technology to really find incredible setups. Okay. So here we're looking at some really... So, you know, sometimes long-term trends are subtle. And a lot of people don't know that. I mean, of course, you, you can you can kind of take different uh, versions of it. You can say, okay, um, well, that's one long term. What about like from the more, oops, how about from this point, you know, the most recent kind of high, what happens then? Or how about like right here, you know, roughly speaking. So these last two days, for Frontier Communications have been very bullish. I mean, it's a huge move out of this channel and a huge breakout of uh, out of this channel. This is the right price, and it's here right now. But what's interesting is 565, only 35 cents away, it's go time. So I'm saying 66 or 67, and it is go time. Here it is. So again, it, it's all in here. Um, let's see what else uh, that I want to do. I mean, it's by the way, one of my one of the things that I'm the most upset about. I had Pandora at like seven or or seven fifty, and again, I took some profits. And this is one of the reasons why we created this tool. I was so mad because again, I got out like right here ignored it, and then the next day it was here. You know, I have like 3,000 shares. I mean, that's like how, you know, when you go from 7 to 10 and you have 3, I mean, that's that's like it's like two purses for your wife that likes expensive purses. Um, so, Alexander, absolutely. Uh, you will get the uh, trend change, uh, you know, just we'll, we'll tell you how to do it at the end of the webinar. And again, Scott, just so that you know, you know, I feel like since we, we – I wanted to do less sales today and more just idea generation. Hopefully, I don't need to sell if I'm showing you guys the kind of tools. Like This is to show you that you yourself could make your own trade of the week almost you know, any time and share it and get feedback and, and, and everything. So again, Pandora is looking good. Um, again, the market sometimes makes no sense. You know why you're destroying a company that's got like 1.16 billion in revenues, um, almost a half billion in cash, and quarterly revenue growth at the same time. But again, that's not for us to decide. What we want to do is 
we really looked at it right here, and we want to see a continuation. So we're talking about like 1050. Can I want to type in continue a shim? Whoops. Here we go. So now again, as you're browsing through all this, you can kind of see like what it is that you know that, that that's driving Dan's ideas at least. And again, and you can hopefully see them every time we pull this up. The trend change has already been kind of pre-scaffolded to bring you these stocks in this modus. We're trying to obviously catch them early, but there's no new problem. Look, listen, I mean, listen, look, we want the same thing that we just did on the previous stock. Let me show you how, again, you can kind of create different versions of your alert, right? So look, so this trend line break is at 1302. I can right click and I'm just saying right here trend line break. Boom. You're done. Um, this is the ultimate platform for capturing alpha. I you know, we're obsessed about it, but unlike our competitors, we've been doing technology uh, for 13 years and all the founders here came out of another technology group that uh, was running a 50 million dollar dot com uh, brokerage platform so we know what we're doing um, and we really have spent the, the best part of the last decade building kind of this innovation to the point where now it's really ready to explode and this is this is it the sharing the instant from the chart uh, labeling. I mean, this is how you don't miss anything. But here's something else that's cool. So look at this alert window. Okay, watch what I'm doing. So this is the stock that's the farthest away um, from my alert, seven points away. And but here I can sort it by what's really close. See, look. So you can even watch your own self and and get ready for the anticipation. See, close. Obviously, close because we just did it. Same thing. Here's another one. Getting close. This one, by the way, I don't think uh, I have covered yet. Did I today? Did I do uh, IL? I don't think so. So I'm glad I. So this one was just uh, from, from an alert that I've had before. You know, and again, everybody can share it. CMRX. Again, just because it had crappy stuff going on before, it doesn't matter. I want to see it. There, here's another void for it to fill. And believe me, the market does not care. You know, if it starts going through here, it could easily bust back through A. I have stops, so I have no fear. That's the whole thing. You have no fear when you have the data, right? So look, ATTU, same thing. Close, 25 cent stop. 25 cent stop. 25 cent stuff. Some of the stops are, this is by the way, this is based on volatility. It's not here, 45 cent stop. You know, we're not just making this stuff up. It just has to do with how the stock is trading, its price. You know, here's my alert for Intel. So again, it's not just the small crappy stuff, but here's a stock that's like involved in the internet of everything. They're the number one semiconductor provider in the world and they've been kind of getting beat down. Look at that. I mean, there's a whole lot of potential to go back and even to higher highs. I mean, if you can catch a bottom, that's how you really make the next level of alpha. So Doug, I did. You have to put in the limit of alert. We don't do the trend line break. So you have to. So you draw the trend line visually, and then right click and set up the the limit of alert right there. It, and it'll alert you as soon as that break takes place. Here, there's another one. I mean, again, I've traded this one so many different times. Um, 
but here's my, I want to see when it's back to here. But there's interesting. Ah, okay, so from below means that it's coming up to Alice. So that means that they're, so from below, so it's got to go from here to here. If it was from above, it'll be more like from here to here. So very simple. Okay, so more on the trend change lubricant. So again, just some things for you guys to be aware of. This one, you know, again, I'm not that big into the very <coughs> small stocks, <coughs> but I also categorically can't ignore them. Okay, so um, just keep an eye. I mean, this looks from 80 cents to a dollar 29 is a huge percentage move. Let's see here. Windstream. Um, Float 99 million small quarter revenue, but again, you know, you never know why the market will do what it does. You just want to catch the best setups. I mean, here's what we're talking about. See, we're looking at this uber, uber, uber long-term basing pattern, right? I mean, look at this thing. So the thing is, well, let me just show you again. You, it's utilizing stuff and and doing it. Uh, easily, right? I don't want to do formulas and I don't want to like, um, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing math. I have my scientists do that for me. So here we go. So I'm drawing this. Obviously, again, I have no idea where it will end. So this is the trend line. I go right here, right click. And I say trend line break. There you go. Now it's all set up. So this is again something that imagine you're sitting there at home and now instead of toiling drawing things on charts and whatever, you're just going through you can go through hundreds of stocks every night. You know, Brooks Automation. And and you can also do it like you can really learn to use your kind of trading instinct. Uh, very quickly and not overthink things. You can be like, wow, I mean, this thing's really starting to go. You can just say something like, I like it. And obviously, if it's going through, you see why you like it. You know, I mean, you just don't have to spend a huge amount of time. Stay, hotel uh, company. Really huge turnaround right there. I love seeing that play. That's definitely a trade of the week type of setup that we like to look at. Okay, and here again, let me just show you. Um, this one was probably this trend line is probably already crossed, but just so we can see it, you know, the other thing too is like here. I mean, you're 13. You're pouring away from the trend line. So what I would do is here. Let's set this right click. So notice it knows the stock is here. And this is a from above. So that means that it's coming down to. So I'm trying to buy the pullback. So you all may wonder, well, how does Dan know where any of this is? Sort, resort, you know, you can have all the, every kind of setup that you want, you can have it. Now why, let's see, stay. Here, from above. Oh, I know why, I'm silly, I don't know how to sort. I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, sorry. So here's the ones that I have that are coming from, in other words, down two, and I have two of them, right? And we have talked about these. So this is uh, NTRI and now stay. And you can see again why I'm doing that. I mean, you can also, of course, say, hey, um, here, set up another one to go up. Say, still going. Just completely open, non-limited. This is what it's about. So I think, Scott, you know, I spent really the majority of the time kind of giving people a good candidates 
for them to uh, kind of investigate, but also hopefully show them how we're completely changing how to utilize technology to to maintain and catch opportunities. It's just not about being glued to the screen during the day. It's about having this access to these limit alerts wherever you are, and they're moving to the web. You'll be able to have them on your phone soon. And all, when that all that is happening, the prices of trade ideas will continue to go up. That's why we always say it's very good to be on these webinars because everybody who signs up with us through webinars ends up being an early adopter one way or the, or the other. Um, so, Donald, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Scott, I'm going to hand the mic over to you. Um, and, uh, you know, I did, again, I did not get into some of the other stuff, but I think it's covered enough. Yeah, and no, I, I think it's a good time we can uh, talk about the pricing and then just roll into the specials. I think you've covered everything unless there's questions. Do you want to answer too? Yeah, no, that's it. Okay. So, yeah, um, as most of you probably know already, but those of you who aren't subscribers might not, we're a software as a service company. So our standard subscriptions are 99 and 888. So 99 a month or 888 for the year. Obviously, the annual saves you quite a bit. There's no contract with either. Uh, it includes all your real-time data and charting. Very importantly, when you sign up, go to the support section and click on training. Select your time and data preferred training. You get a full hour of one-on-one -on -one screen sharing training. To get access to the limit alerts that you just saw and the AI requires owning the AI strategy license, uh, also access to the odds maker, it's the same permissions. Uh, that's a one-time $1,100 cost. It's a lifetime license, so as long as you have an active trade idea subscription and uh, the AI channel, uh, you have everything. Uh, you can back also use the odds maker to backtest the entire market using uh, that access. Uh, but to thank everyone for coming, I want to direct your attention to the PDF that's in your handouts panel and if you go to webinar interface, uh, click on that PDF, it'll download some information for you that's also on the next slide, the Trade Ideas subscription special. So it has a code that's good until Friday. Um, that code is HOLLY24, if you can go to the next slide there, Dan. And it's all caps for HOLLY, H-O-L-L-Y, 2-4. That's good until the end of business on Friday, and that'll give you half off the first month. So if you're not a subscriber yet, it's a great way to get your toes wet and get in on that training. Uh, you get 20% off your first, off your entire year. That's a great upgrade for someone who's on the monthly plan to change over to the annual. So you can get into the annual for just 710 for the first year. It renews at 888. Uh, you can save 30% off the lifetime AI odds maker license. So you can get everything for just 770 lifetime and then add in a subscription and you have access to all the higher functionality that we offer and the new stuff that's coming out. Now we do have a package available and uh, detail that on the next slide. Uh, it, we've enabled that same product code right now to work on this package. So if you click through from that PDF that you can download, or type into your browser that link exactly as you see it, bit.ly slash capital AI Holly. So that's all in caps for the AI Holly. It takes you to a page where you can click through and everything's in there at once. Put in the code Holly24, and that takes 508 right off it because it takes 30% off the AI uh, channel and odds maker license and 20% off of the first year. So, and then it renews at 888. So that's a fantastic package to get in. You get everything for 1480. It's really for those of you who understand the value of trade ideas. It's, it's not going to get less expensive, and you know, it, uh, we keep adding features almost monthly. Uh, thanks everyone for showing up. Again, that PDF's in your handouts panel. Everyone will get a email with the, a replay of the webinar and a reminder of the codes. Um, thanks, Dan, for the presentation. Uh, if anyone has any questions, send your emails to info at trade-ideas.com. That is the best place to send your email. Or if you have something specific for Dan, he's dan at trade-ideas.com. If you follow us on Facebook, we post some things there um, just exclusively. So it's facebook.com slash tradeideaspro. Dan is tradeideas1 on Twitter, and we also have at tradeideas. Both post some really interesting stuff. You should be subscribed to everything. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, we'll see you next week. And uh, those of you who are on our list probably received an invite for Jamie's Trading Studio, which is tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's a good one to go to. Jamie and Steve talk not only about how to use trade ideas, but just trading in general. And also they'll be talking about the limit alerts, I'm sure.
Alexander, if you want to get any of the windows you saw, just send an email to info at trade-ideas.com, and we will absolutely hook you up. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, everyone. Good night.